Welcome back into Main Street Living. Now, uh, confession time. Uh, in between uh, our segments here, we have been having a lot of yawning today, but I will say that's normally me. It's normally me, but not today because I had time to make my coffee. Yeah. Me too. I got my coffee right here. It's almost done. <laughs> Clearly, shots fired. Poom, poom. It's me. <laughs> it's me without saying it's me. But um, you might not know, ladies, um, as I ended the last segment, Jason Mraz. Okay, mm, he's, yeah. uh, he's an incredible musician. He's had a great career. Mm. But to the San Diegans out there, I bet you did not know, he's growing some of the world's finest coffee right there in San Diego. Ooh. Yeah, so let's... Uh, Let's check out what he's growing. I started my career in coffee shops. That's standing in the corner, you know, trying to sing over a steam wand or an espresso machine or a burr grinder. And through my travels as an artist, I would dip into coffee shops all around the world and, and started to fall in love with the beverage itself. So I decided I would be more proactive with my trees and go organic and draw carbon down and be a better steward of the earth. Because for me, I felt like it was a good way to offset my music travels. We are in Oceanside, California, and we are a subtropical fruit farm. We grow 11 different varieties of coffee, and we are the producer of the coffee cherry, which is the very first step in the entire process to get a great cup of coffee. Every single tree requires a human to be visiting it weekly. We have about 2,400 coffee trees in the ground here on this farm. Of those 11 varieties, there are a few that are sought after. One specifically, probably the most sought after coffee in the world is the Geisha variety, which originated in Geisha Village, Ethiopia. The Moraz Family Farm, it's the first farm in San Diego County to produce a Geisha. The farm is truly a project of love. I'll be honest with you. The best coffee typically is grown at the highest elevation. And the reason for that in that high altitude is it gets colder up there and it causes that cherry to slow down its ripening process. What we lack in elevation, we make up for because we have winter. It's a mild winter, we're in a subtropical region, so we only get to about freezing, but it's not enough of a winter to kill the plants and harm the fruit. So where we don't have altitude, we have latitude. And that latitude allows California, by sheer accident, be a specialty coffee producer. This one would probably be delicious. Geisha has a reputation for its flavor. This, this silky smoothness that goes along with it. It also has a reputation uh, on the marketplace because historically it has always been the most expensive cup of coffee. I mean, last year's Best of Panama sold for over $1,000 a pound. And that, my friends, is just the green finished bean. So this would be the geisha variety. And this would be a natural. That's why there's a little bit of reddish color to it. The seeds are almost canoe shaped. They're oblong and they're narrower. Once the roaster gets involved, they take that green bean, they add heat, the bean explodes. It loses half its weight and it doubles in size. And through the roasting process, that little green bean becomes that beautiful chocolatey coffee bean that everyone recognizes. If you get a California Geisha, you're drinking one of the rarest coffees in the world. I love being a steward of the earth and seeing what happens when you plant a tree and give it love. It's very much the same in any business or creative endeavor where you plant an idea and you water it, you nurture it, and then over the years you see what it grows into. We're here on Earth for a limited time. It's a miracle that we're even here, have consciousness, and it's a real luxury and an honor to be able to spend my time with these sentient beings. All right, guys, I've always heard that the best coffee is grown at high elevation, but I did not know it was because of the temperature. Cheryl, you should, I mean, where were you on that? Right, I know, we learn something new every day. That's so cool. Weather plays a role in so much more than we know, doesn't it? Yeah. All right, guys, well, switching gears a little bit, coming up on Main Street Living, when you're in need of medical care, how do you know where to go? If you or someone you know is battling cancer, we have some important information for you next. 